Hello designers, welcome back to another video and today I'm super excited to show you this amazing AI tool that's been catching my attention lately and it's called Relium, relium.io and if you're someone who spends hours creating wireframes for your clients then this video is definitely going to change your whole workflow. So without any further ado, let's dive right on my screen and see what this hype is all about, right? So here we are on Relium's website, it's relium.io and you'll be landing on this amazing interactive website. So as you can see, it has got a lot of hover effects and interactions and if you click on this shuffle button you can see these different shuffle of the same component right so it's just showing you that we have a lot of components and you can shuffle between different styles that you want giving you the perfect look that you're looking for right and then at the bottom you can see these different features that they have sitemaps wireframes and style guides i'll talk about style guides towards the end of the video for sure and then you have all the different features it's a very clean and informative website really well created and since you're new on this website you'll probably see a sign up button where you can use google to sign up freely on this uh, website but but since I already created an account, I am seeing a launch button and as soon as I click on the launch button, you can see that I end up on the dashboard right here. And as you can see, I've already been experimenting with this tool and trust me, the results are really impressive. So on the left, you have a site builder where all your projects live and then you have the different libraries that Relium provides for you to take your wireframes to the next level. And before we move on to creating a new project, I want to show you another feature which really caught my eye and that's really useful, right? So let's say you have a client who comes up with a proposal of enhancing their existing website and that's that's how this tool will come handy where you can get the complete sitemap of their website very quickly and then you can start enhancing it. So for that you just have to use this import feature. So I'm going to give a simple website here simply social dot co and as soon as you import the sitemap you can see that it scans to the whole website within the couple of seconds you can see that we have the whole sitemap ready in front of us and it starts with the home screen and then you have the different pages under it which is work about services and so on and then you have the third level which comes under projects you have the different projects that they have and the privacy policy terms and conditions right so once you have the whole sitemap ready then you can start enhancing it right here and uh, you know continue the discussions with the client so that way this is really helpful uh, but let's head back and start a new project from the scratch and see how it can be done right so I'll head back to the dashboard right here and then let's start creating a new project so I'll click on new project from here and that would take me to the empty canvas where uh, every website starts with the home screen right so you have your home screen ready and then on the left you have this window which is asking for different inputs so think of this just like how you talk to your design team or a different design agency right so the first thing you tell is your brief idea and that is what what you're doing here as well but this time it's just that you're talking to an AI so for the project brief you know let's uh, think of something which is very simple and a real use case so let's create a website for a digital marketing agency and for which I would give the prompt something like I want I've put in the prompt here so a modern digital marketing agency with its name and I mentioned the different okay let's call this pages instead of sections so let's say we need all these different pages I've given it four pages that I want and that looks good right so the next input is the number of pages that we want and by default is set to one to five so let's say you have a client who comes up uh, who wants a very simple website with less than five pages this works well uh, but I've given the pages that I want but I'll simply choose five to ten let's see what new pages it comes up with right the new ideas that it can come up with and then you have languages you have all the popular languages right here it also has the Indian Hindi language and all the different popular ones right so that's really uh, good you can get the content right away in the language that the client wants and with that let me click on generate sitemap and let's see the magic right so as you can see you have the magic happen right in front of you you have the whole sitemap ready and this is the very first step you have the home screen with different sections but if you notice uh, you can see that uh, these pages are empty right so you have the services case study testimonials everything that we asked for right so we asked these pages and it's right in front of us but as you can see the home page has its sections but these are empty pages right so let's fill that up right so for that you just have to hit on generate empty pages and within a couple of more seconds you can see that the sitemap for this also is getting ready and boom there you go the complete sitemap is done within just a couple of seconds right so all you had to do is give in a very detailed prompt and you have a very good sitemap ready again this is not something you can directly send to your clients you have to review it this is like a first draft and you can review it from your style and see what all you think are important or remove things that are not important right but let's say uh, you have done with the sitemap and now you want to send it to your client all you have to do is share this you can click on share and that'll create a link where you can invite your client to come in and they can start adding comments right so it's very simple let's say they want to add a comment here like 
change this and you will be getting this comment and all you have to do is come here click on the section and you can change this right you can include the different points that you want to change and let's say you want to add a new section as well the client has requested uh, probably in a case study here you want to include uh, let's say a benefits part so I'll click on the plus button right here and then you can see the different sections that are available and here we have the benefits section so I'll just click on it and boom there you go you have a benefit sections added right so now let's say the sitemap is done the client is very happy with the sitemap and the next stage is you want to move on to the wireframes and that's just a click away right so on the top you have this option called wireframes and as soon as you click on it it starts doing its magic and in real time you can see the wireframes getting generated from the first the home screen is getting generated it almost reached halfway and it's reaching to the last page and everything is happening in real time I'm not speeding anything here so we have almost reached the last page right here and that's almost less than a minute right less than 30 seconds you have the whole wireframe ready and these are really high quality wireframes frames, high fidelity wireframes, which you can send it to your clients directly. Uh, but before that, again, like I mentioned, you want to review it and see everything looks good and you want to change some style. Probably you don't want your hero section to be like this. You want the image to take more preference, right? You can just click on it and come to replace component and you have all the different variants available. So let's say I want something like this where the whole viewport is an image and then you have the text overlaid on it. So there you can see that is done very simple and you can see how professional this is, right? So there are different AI tools in the market which does the job but again it's not consistent in how it creates which makes it not usable for a real client uh, use case right so here you can see that the footer is consistent everywhere every page has the same footer every uh, page has the same header and the styling the different templates that we're using is very consistent right so this makes it really a tool that can be used for your real professional work right so that's why I really love this tool and how well they have implemented it right so we can see that the different sections we have the contact section with FA cues and everywhere you can see that there's a strong call to action which we mentioned in the prompt so now that you have your wireframes again you can review it and once you're done share it with your clients and they can start adding comments the collaboration is very seamless let's say they wanted to change the section uh, here they wanted something different all you have to do is just click on it make changes right here if they don't want this section or make some edits to the text or if they want to change the whole style of this component again come here click on replace component and you have the different styles that you can replace it with right once you like a style just click on it and if you want to regenerate the copy you can just click on this and type what kind of content you want on this section and just click on generate and that will start adding the relevant content right here so there we go guys that is uh, the main agenda for this video where you wanted to create high quality wireframes that you can deliver to your clients and that part is done but this doesn't end here right the next step is taking this to figma adding the styles and then exporting it and creating a whole website so let's see how uh, relium helps you with that your work on relium is done let's head back to figma Figma. On Figma, I'm going to create a new uh, file right here and let's open the plugin, right? So if you go to plugin section and search for Relume, the first plugin that you see is from Relume. Just click on that. And once you're opening it for the first time, you'll probably see an uh, option to sign in. You just have to use the same credentials that you used in Relume to sign in here. And you can see all your different projects that you have. And uh, the next thing is just click on this open Relume kit. It will take you to this community page where you have the Relume's UI kit. Just click on open in Figma and that will open a duplicated version of this UI kit. I've already done it. So here we have the UI kit version 2.9. So here you have the option on how to get started and different resources and everything right here. So all you have to do is just go back to the plugin. So here we have Relium's plugin. I'm just opening it up and I should have my project, which was ANC that we created just before. I'll click on this and let's say you want your sitemap right here. Just click on add sitemap and that should add your whole sitemap onto this page. So there you go. You have your whole sitemap right here. If you don't want to switch between Relium and Figma, you have your whole sitemap here. And now let's move on to the wireframe page and let's add the wireframes, right? So if you want to add the whole wireframes right here, you can use this wireframe uh, button here. But if you want to specific page, just click on this and here you have your different pages. So for this purpose, I'll just add the home screen. Just clicking on home screen, which is getting added to the canvas. So there you go. It's getting added. It'll take a couple of seconds. It's basically adding everything and linking it to the UI kit. And that's why it's taking a little time here but adding it and linking it to the UI kit is what makes it really powerful. I'll show you an example. So let's wait for this a couple of seconds. All right, there we go. We have the home page added and as you can see, it also adds the mobile version of it, right? So everything is responsive because everything here is auto layout. You can see that if I remove something from here, it should automatically align things, right? So if I remove something 
from here. You can see that it automatically aligns and the spacing is maintained. So let me just undo it back and uh, let's see what can be done. Okay, uh, here we have the home screen and let's add one more screen, right? So just to see how this works. So I'll add the case study screen. All right, so there we go. We have the home screen and here we have the case study screen. I'll just ungroup this one so that it, these are different frames. And this is your desktop version and this is your mobile version. And now let's zoom in and see how powerful this is. And if you want to copy paste from Relume, that is also possible. You can just go to Relume and select a particular thing. Just say copy or copy to Figma. And then you just have to come here and say paste and that will paste that particular screen onto Figma as well, right? So those are different ways of doing it. But now that we are done with that, let's see how powerful this is because it gets linked to the UI kit, right? So let's say you have these buttons here and now you want to start styling it. Uh, so you just have to select the button right here and you will see that everything is linked back to the component UI kit, right? So you can just head back to the main parent component and here you can start making adjustments to the colors, right? So in terms of colors, everything is again well maintained. You have the primitive colors, you have the semantic colors. So you just have to make changes to the primitive colors and everything will start reflecting, right? So for which you just have to go to the local variables right here and use the primitive colors right here and start making colors changes to this, right? So here you have your brand colors and then you have your different uh, colors right here, right? So I'll just make these changes. So I'll just pick a purple right here and within just a click, everything got changed, right? So you can see that all your components, the colors have changed, the input fields, uh, all the primary colors have changed to this purple right here. And if I head back to wireframe, there you go, guys, you can see that all your buttons have started to reflect the primary color. And that's how powerful this is, right? You can see that because all this is again linked back to your UI kit, you can start making changes on UI kit and that will start reflecting on the whole wireframes and slowly that can be converted into high fidelity mockups. And once you're done creating a high fidelity mockups, it doesn't stop there. Relume has another option, which is export or copying this and sending it to Webflow. And that makes it a whole end-to-end -end website builder, right? So it's not just wireframes. It starts with sitemap, goes to wireframes, and then you go to your high fidelity mockups on Figma, and then that can be exported into Webflow, creating this whole A to Z cycle of creating a website, right? So it's like your whole AI companion on creating a website. So that's how powerful this is. And right now, the styling process in Figma is slightly complicated, but with this AI-powered style guide generator, you can do this shuffling of colors within just a click and that will start giving you different styles and uh, whichever your client is happy with, you can go with that and put it on Webflow and it should be done, right? Even if you're not using Webflow, you have your final mockups on Figma and then you also have your Framer plugin, which does Figma to Framer export very seamlessly. And even that way, you can end up creating your whole website, right? And here's a quick tip that I've discovered, right? So while you're using Relume, start with a detailed project description that really helps you refine the kind of results you get. The more specific you are, the more better results you get. And also, don't forget to use this revision feature where you can regenerate your wireframes until you get the perfect vision that you're looking for your website. And that's Relium, guys. Everything in one place from wireframes to style guides to helping you with development as well. And I'm really excited to see what they're coming up with next. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with more such time-saving design tools and drop a comment if you like to see more tutorials on Relium or any other design tools that you like. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.